Right, the next race from Sandown is the Whitbread Gold Cup chase over three miles far furlongs, a great two handicap. One is Lynn Darren Thompson, Landlock Craig Beckwith, Leaf River Darren Thompson, Southside Kevin Meanian, Bucko Martin Leadham, Watchtower Graham Clutterbuck, Moral Fact Leon from Rensburg, Bronwyn Killing, Davy Robertson, Houston Obsessive Vinnie Gerard, Madeline Rose, Patrick Hogan, Magical Times Dave Uli, right on cue from the same stable, subcontract for Craig Beckwith, Paul Sir Teller for Alex Cherry. Bobby Can Grove, Stu Gray, Weeby Clarity, Martin Needham, Thistledown to Winder, Patrick Hogan, uh, Glenfar, Fred Lott, Alex Cherry, Diamonds, Obi Wan, and Stu Gray's Alexander Minx. Nice big field, yeah, in the Whitbrook, Whitbrook Gold Chase. The ground is good, yeah, at Sandown. And away they go. Quickly upon the first jump, and uh, all of them are over safely. It's Paul Sotella for Alex Cherry, who is the leader, but reluctantly, and now Landlock goes past that one to take it up. So it's Landlock for Craig Beckwith, the leads from Stable Companion subcontract. Then comes Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerald, Leaf River for Darren Thompson. Behind that is uh, Madeline Rose for Patrick Hogan. Then comes Lintz. They jump the next. Um, near the back of the field is Befaller there. Lintz is gone for Darren Thompson. So Landlock takes them along as they go past the next. It's a Houston Obsessive, another faller there. Subcontract's gone for Craig Beckwith. So two out of the race, 18 left standing. As Landlock leads from Houston Obsessive, then comes Watchtower. Madeline Rose on the inside of that. On the rail is Leaf River. Moral back just behind that with Glenfire Fredlot. Travelling very well. Uh, very wide is Kevin Minnie against Southside, but also very wide at this stage is Weeby Clarity. Uh, in between also is Thistledown to Winder. Right on cue, and that one's inside. The black colours of Barbican Grove behind that. The the yellow colours near the back of the field of diamonds for OB1. On the inside of that is Bronwyn Killing and Magical Times the trailer for Dave Hoody. Some horses trapped really wide and, and unfortunately in this game. If they go wide at Sandown that's not a good thing. Landlock in front though from Houston Obsessive on his outside. Uh, Leaf River is on the inside of Madeline Rose. Then comes Moral Fact on the inside of Watchtower. They're followed by Barbican Grove with Glenfar Fredlot. Pulsatella behind that on the rail is Bucko for Martin Edom. Travelling very wide at this stage. Weeby Clarity also very wide. And the car park really for Kevin Meadman's south side. Uh, on the inside of these is uh, Alexander Minx. Then the yellow colours of Diamonds. Bronwyn Kelly still on the rail at the back of the field. Alongside him is Magical Times. So Landlock. With a long way to go still, the leader from Houston Obsessive, these two kind of taking each other on for the lead, about four lengths back to Watchtower on the outside of Madeline Rose, moral fact in between horses, Leaf River is on the inside of that, they're followed by the two Alex Cherry horses, Pulsatella and Glenfar Fredlot, who are on either side of Barbican Grove, Southside is still wide and so is Weeby Clarity, also very wide at this stage is Alexander Minx, and they're followed by um, Magical times out of the back of the field with Bronwyn Killing for Davy Robertson. They come to the next, they all jump it okay. And it's still all going, yeah. Landlock, uh, well, still two, 18 going, two have fallen, but it's a Houston Obsessive has now taken it up from Landlock. Moral Fact is back in third. They're followed by Watchtower, that one's outside. Then comes Madeline Rose. Out very wide is uh, Southside. In between horses is a Pulsar Teller. On the uh, near the rail is Bucko. On the inside of Bucko we have Magical Times. Uh, there is a faller there. Houston Obsessive has gone when leading. Houston Obsessive has gone when leading, and our Landlock is left in the front for Moral Fact in second. Up on the inside there is Madeline Rose. Then comes Magical Times has made a forward move. They're followed by Bucko. We'll watch down the outside of that. The wire travelling south side has moved into the inside now. They're followed by Glen Fire Fredlot. On the outside of that is Thistle down the window. Right on cue on the inside of that. Then comes the yellow colours of Diamonds. Arizona the mix is out wide for Stu Gray. The maroon colours on the outside and inside of that is Leaf River. Bronwyn Killing still near, near on the back of the field. And Weeby Clarity has dropped to the back of the field after travelling wide for most of the story. So Landlock leads the loose horse with Magical Tiles back in third. And on the outside of uh, Moral Fact is Watchtower. Madeline Rose up the inside. It was back there and much found. Bronwyn Killing has gone at the back of the field. Bronwyn Killing has fallen. So the loose horse uh, might cause some issues here. Leads from uh, Landlock in second. Uh, then comes Watchtower with Pulse Italian between horses, followed by Magical Times. Moral Fact just behind that. Just ahead of Moral Fact is Barbican Grove as they jump the next. Uh, the South Hard, who's got a wide passage from most of the races alongside Moral Fact. Thistledown to Window is moving closer with, on his outside, Alexander Minx. Uh, then comes Leaf River, Madeline Rose up the inside with, on his outside, Glenfire Fredlot. Diamonds always been near the back of the field with, uh, just ahead of that, Bucker, and just behind him, Weeby Clarity, and uh, travelling wide out near the back of the field is right on cue for Dave Hooley. 
So 16 horses left as they go off on their final circuit here and a new leader in Paul Sotella has come to the front for Alex Cherry from Watchtower in second. Uh, Bobby Congrove has moved up into third and Landlock who was the lead at one stage has dropped to fourth. Moral Fact just behind that. South side on his outside. Travelling strongly on the outside his thistle down the wind has crept into it. Then comes Magical Times Leaf River. Travelling very wide is Alexander Mix. On the rail is Madeline Rose with Glen Fire Fredlock and that one's outside. Then comes Bucko. Diamonds is on the rail in those yellow colours. They're followed by Right on Cue and Weavy Clarity the trailer. It's a pack in field now. It's only about seven lengths first to last year as Pulsatella is the new leader from Barbican Grove who is probably going to be hampered by that loose horse just ahead of him. Then Leaf River for Darren Thompson who's moved into the contention. Watchtown that one's outside. South side still going okay the grey. Travelling white thistle down the window. On the inside of these is Magical Times. Madeline Rose has crept through from the back of the field. The long time leader Landlock is dropping back. Then comes Moral Fact. Um, on the inside of Moral Fact is Glen Far Fredlot. Alexander Minx is right there. Then comes the two red coloured horses of Mart Leedham, Bucker and Weaver Clarity. Diamonds is on the rail and at the back of the field right on cue. But they all have some sort of chance here as they jump the next and they all jump but okay. And now Barbie Can Grove comes to the front for Stu Gray. And it's Barbie Can Grove who goes to goes to the front, leads from Leaf River. Madeline Rose travelling strongly in third. Then comes Watchtown Pulsatella. Also moving into contention now. It's Alexander Mix, the second Stu Gray horse. A slow jump there by Sarsat. Bucko and Weaver Clarity have moved up as well. Moral Fact is also getting into the thick of things up on the inside. Is Glen Fire Fred Lot. They all have some sort of a chance here. They're all in a chance except for maybe Diamonds at the back has been pushed along. It's Barbie Can Grove in front now for me second. Madeline Rose. Then comes Leaf River. That followed by Pulsatella Watchtower. On the outside, Moral Fact. Then comes Barbie Can Grove. Moral Fact jumps at Wells. Moved up into second, but it's Barbie Can Grove in front. And right on the outside, this little down to wind has come from the back of the field to low down the challenge. And there's two Padre Gogan horses to go on. Madeline Rose from Thistle down to Winter. Then Moral Fact. Bobby Can Grove on the inside is trying to rally. Then comes Landlock. They're followed by Leaf River and Pulsatella. But behind that is. Uh, Weebu Clarity, but it's uh, Little Down the Window and Madeline Rose in front from Bobby and Grove in third. Then comes Moral Fact, followed by Landlock and Weebu Clarity. Little Down the Window, Madeline Rose in second. Padre Gogan horses go on with three phones left to travel. It's Little Down the Window, Madeline Rose up the inside. Then Bobby and Grove, followed by Pulsatella. It's Little Down the Window and Madeline Rose. Madeline Rose jumps it better. Madeline Rose now clear with two phones left to travel from Little Down the Window in second. Moral Fact is trying to come out the pack with Bobble can Grove and Pulsatella. It's Thistle down the window for Patrick Hogan from Madeline Rose in second. Here comes Bobble can Grove and Madeline Rose back, but Thistle down the window and Madeline Rose have got the advantage with a third and a half to travel. It's a what which is just a case of which Patrick Hogan horse wins the race. They're jumping well together. Thistle down the window. Madeline Rose moral fact is trying hard in third. It's Madeline Rose in the inside from Thistle down the window. Then moral fact Madeline Rose and Thistle down the window fighting that moral fact trying hard in third. Then Paul Sotella and Bolton Bobby can grow, but it's a 1 2 year for Patrick Hogan. Ireland 1 2, Madeline Rose, Thistle under Winder, then came Moral Fact. Bobby can grow was fourth. I think Bucker might have got fifth. Confirm that fifth place in though. But a 1 2 for Ireland, a 1 2 for Patrick Hogan. First and second with Madeline Grove, Rose and Thistle down to Winder. Moral Fact was third. Pulse Teller was fourth. Bobby can grow was fifth. And Bucker was back in sixth for Martin Needham.